Hello everyone and welcome to your daily tarot reading for all signs. As always, the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. So let's see what we have for the day, please. Angel Spirits Guides. And the reading can resonate a few days longer than when it's released. So what do people need to know for the day ahead? Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. We have maybe some conflict inner conflict or external could be a combination of both eight of wands the wheel of fortune divine timing orchestration king of wands more wands energy we have the world <clears throat> Two of Pentacles, and we have the Eight of Cups. Oh, the Knight of Pentacles, okay. <clears throat> Yeah, I, you know, the five of wands, it can be conflict um, in your current circumstances. This can be when we're in a situation with another people or a group of people, could be a team in business, for example, <clears throat> where um, you might not feel like you're on the same page. There's always drama. There's always conflict. There's always kind of like one-upmanship, you know? Uh, so you might be in that kind of, uh, sometimes it is a competitive environment, but it can be about everybody's in it for themselves, you know, kind of scenario. So might well be at your odds, your odds with your current situation here. This can also be a very good card in terms of competing for things as well. Uh, so however this, when we pit ourselves against others because we want to win something. There is some kind of battle going on here, um, conflict going on here. The Eight of Wands in the world signifies that there's some news and all of a sudden it comes out of the blue. And in that midst, it actually brings positive change. With the world, it brings a completion, but the world is a card of success. Successful outcomes that allow you to draw a line under your current situation and step through to a brand new phase of your life. Because you've kind of like achieved something here. This can be victory, triumph, success over challenge. Uh, over what might have been a, a cycle that has been up and down, but you've learned, you've grown, you've evolved. And this is the energy here of energetically, you're ready to move to the next level because something is completing for you. Could be in the form of an outcome of some kind as well, but completing very successfully. There's a real sense of achievement. The Two of Pentacles, however... With the Wheel of Fortune, this is when we're kind of like, but I I need to kind of decide whether I'm, I'm ready. Now, this is the energy here, either, again, that transmutable energy of endings and beginnings with the Wheel of Fortune. This can be where you have an opportunity to move in a brand new environment, uh, a brand new kind of like a circle, life cycle, you know, call it what you will or stay in the current one that you're in. And this is the energy. There may well be a choice or decision in terms of whether you stay with your current place of work or whether you move to something different. It feels like you're going to be successful, but then you're kind of like, but I, I don't know. Do I move? Am I, should I? Do I need to consider the practical implications? Am I ready for it? You know, this is the energy here with the Two of Pentacles of there may well be a decision that needs to be made, but you're kind of like a little bit in between. Uh, do I go this way? Do I go that way? If I move forward, I'm going to have to give up this, you know, this is the scenario. So you're kind of like in that process of weighing up. Wheel of Fortune does bring in good luck, good fortune here. It's very good in terms of change. The additional message that I'm getting with that, if it wasn't, if you weren't uncertain, 
this comes in quickly and they're like, we need you now. We need you like yesterday. And the same message applies. It's like, you just have to drop everything and respond. This will be the energy of good luck and good fortune is turning in your favor. That sense of obstacles being removed. And you're gonna to have to kind of like juggle a lot all of a sudden because things all of a sudden move very, very fast and quickly for you. So you're gonna to have to juggle and respond to the situation here uh, because this is your changes happening here. You can see the circles in the picture as well, you know? Um, it looks like, I mean, it definitely feels like some kind of completion where you're setting off on a brand new circle, uh, a brand new life cycle, or that's available to you here. So if you're not faltering, if you're not unsure, the energy can be. You just have to adapt and respond and there's just a lot on your plate, you know, while you're kind of like uh, moving from A to B, for example, as well. Because it definitely feels like somebody's taking the lead here. King of Wands can be a leader in business, uh, but also can be if this is somebody who's involved in this situation, somebody who's empowered, courageous. It doesn't really matter whether they fear something or not, fear the unknown or not. They'll do the right thing anyway. You know, they work through fear with the King of Wands energy. It's empowered energy. It's when we take the lead in our own life and we move forward. We move things forward in a very positive, empowered, successful way. So this is what you're doing here. Again, if it's not somebody who holds the opportunity. We have the Eight of Cups walking away, turning your back on this situation here and walking away. With the Knight of Pentacles, it's a very good energy here of someone making you an offer. This is very good in terms of uh, job, business opportunity, career path. It brings abundant change, the Knight of Pentacles. So there's definitely an energy here of, of there's a major completion at hand here and it seems to happen very, very quickly to the point if you're not faltering between two, two energies of the present and what you could move towards, then you just have to juggle a lot straight away because things come in fast and you're kind of like, oh my goodness, I've got this to do, I've got that to do, I've got to sort everything out, especially if it was even moving or relocating, you know, as part of this. It just feels like there's a lot to do at once. It might take you a little bit by surprise, this kind of energy, because it just seems like overnight change. You know, it just feels that sense of overnight change. Things move, shift forward extremely quickly, and they want you like yesterday. That would be the energy here. If you were competing for... Um, if you were competing for like a a home or property as well. You know, if you were wondering if you were going to be successful in terms of uh, getting your dream home, for example, I guess this would be the same kind of message. You're going to be successful. It marks the completion and you get to kind of like, and then you need to sort your end out in some way because change is happening for you. And again, it might well be that you need to get an offer on your property, which looks like it's coming. So this just feels like um, either you're making an offer or getting one. Could be that energy of also moving or relocating as well. But the same message applies. There is certainly someone making you an offer here. Knights bring offers and opportunities for change. And this can be very good in terms of a sum of money, job, business opportunity, career contract being offered to you. So whatever you're competing for here, it looks like it's all going to be worth it. Let's pull an Archangel Michael message to finish off the reading. We have number five, be honest with yourself. All your feelings, even the difficult ones, have a message for you. Accept your truth and let, then let souls take it from there. That's what I have for the day. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful day. I will see you next time.